batting two. Leading off at second base, number 22, Antonio Benitez. Batting second, the shortstop, number two, Xavier Sola. Batting third and catching, number 14, Gustavo Rivera. Batting fourth, first baseman, number 17, Wesley Bradford. Batting fifth in right field, number 27, Randy Jimenez. Batting sixth, designated hitter, number 28, Angel Andradas. Batting seventh, playing third base, number 15, Blake Denson. Batting eighth in center field, number 36, Jackson Lynch. And batting ninth, the left fielder, number 32, Yvonne Medina. The battery for the Pioneers in game two, catching number 24, Josh Hinojos. And on the mound, right-hander, number 33, Logan Burbach. Top of the first for the Bobcats, second base number 22, Antonio Benitez. Leave it. It's fine. <laughs> Antonio Benitez leading off, facing Logan Burbach. If I may be so bold, this might be Logan Burbach's first career start at MNU. We'll have to look. Uh, yeah, I kind of remember him starting, maybe. I think he started the conference room when we lost. That second shift game. Maybe. I could be completely wrong. Let's find out. Burbach is 1-0 yeah, in eight all relief appearances. That's softly into okay. center field. That's going to get down for a leadoff single. <clears throat> Burbach has a 2-4-5 ERA in 11 innings. Seven hits, 12 strikeouts. Opponents hitting a scant 175 against him. He's been excellent out of the pen this year. Different lineup for the Bobcats. This is Sola. He's been the nine hole the first three games. Now he's up in the two hole. Okay. Sounds good. All right, sounds good. Right, Called strike. Last year, Burbach did not have a start. Runner goes, slashed foul. In 2022, Burbach had one start. You were right. But when was it? You thought it was the conference tournament? Yeah. I'm looking. I don't know. Yeah, I thought it was conference tournament against Simeon. Blocked nicely by Inojos. Same defense for the Pioneers, except the battery, Burbach and Inojos.
chop fell. Alex Myers started that game. <clears throat> Against Nick Merkel. That's a tough matchup. Two balls, two strikes. Swing and a miss, throw down, stolen base. <clears throat> Adding third, catcher number 14, Gustavo Rivera. Popped up, foul. This is Rivera. That ball came back in somehow. Did someone throw that back? What happened? Doesn't matter. Game four here, the Pioneers have won the first three convincingly. About 35 to nothing, is that right? Fly it into right field. Borquez. Ooh, he's trying for it. No sack fly, that's just a plus batting fourth first base number 17 Wesley Bradford Wesley Bradford now the four hole can't remember too many Peru base runners on third this series. Is this seriously, like, have they been on third yet? That would be unbelievable. i got to imagine they've reached there at least once. But this, seriously, game. For, this is a big game for the Pioneers. You can't just drop this one. Got to complete the sweep if you've been so dominant through the first three. There's a base hit, and Peru is on the board for the first time this series. Randy Jimenez fouls off the first pitch. It's 0-1. Squares to bunt. Gets it down. Burbach, bare hands, fires. Got him. Nice play. Everybody's thrilled for him. Burbach is upset that he gave up the run, I think. <laughs> for the Bobcats in the top of the first, one run on two hits. But that's no been kind of an issue left. with Burbach. Like, can he, eight. he's so Bruce tall one, and long, can he back. move off the mound for plays like this? And he's like, yeah, look, I can be an athlete. 
Really nice play. I think it Enojos is like, yeah, what's up? Dio's like, yeah, boy. Yeah. And he's like, shut up. Shortstop, number 10, Bryson Sherwood. Batting third, the left fielder, number 27, Javi Melendez. Same lineup for the Pioneers, except Enojos in the nine hole instead of Crespo. We'll be right back. Brent Olmo leads off, bottom of the first. We thought there'd be a barrage of home runs in the last game, but there was just the one. Olmo, his first of the year. Take strike one from Okendo. <clears throat> Diego Okendo is one and one. This is his second start, fifth appearance. Three... 9-5 ERA leads the team. 13 and two-thirds innings, 14 hits, 18 strikeouts, and opponents hitting 259. <clears throat> so good numbers for Okendo. Grounded up the middle. Second baseman handles. One away. You did get hurt? Shortstop, number 10, Bryson Sherwood. <clears throat> Bryson Sherwood. The two hole. <laughs> that is the weirdest conversation starter ever. Yeah, that is. Slashed into left. Drops just foul. That's into right center field and deep. Center fielder back to the wall. Gone. Sherwood, a solo shot. We are tied at one. Oh. 
Oh, he went down and got that. That's a pretty good piece of hitting right there. Left field, number 27, Javi Melendez. Javi Melendez now. Check swing roller to second. Got to love those as a good hitter. Blech. You're sure what's Homer? Batting fourth, designated hitter number 25, Noah Castillo. <clears throat> we need Preston McKay on camera every game. Can we do that? Oh, Castillo, straight up the elevator shaft. He banged his head on the ground. His helmet was off. <clears throat> did camera one get that? Camera one did not get it. They're checking on him as he took a shot back of the head right here. Boom. Oh, and that's really hard ground there. The grass is barely there. Like he's gonna be all right. No, their other catcher was Ephraim something, right? Yeah, what? Uh, Ephraim Torres caught game one. This guy caught game one yesterday, I think. Mm -hmm. Emily Elmodova. Part of our great training staff here at MNU. They work too long and are paid too little. God bless those people. That's hard work, and you got to know things. You got to be smart. Grounded to short. Yeah, I mean, I can't just go be a trainer. They could learn how to do my job. I can't just go do their job, you know. For the Pioneers in the bottom of the first, one run, one hit, no errors, nobody left. And after one complete inning, we're tied at one. And batting sixth, designated hitter, number 28, Angel Andradas. Angel Andradas, the six hole, DH.
Breaking ball misses up and in, one-on-one. -on -one. I want to see what the Pioneers look like this week. What their numbers are. Little flare. Woodley gets there. A little P4 action. <coughs> Okay, so this series so far, Willie Bork has, this this week so far, I should say, five games because of the two we played on Sunday. Oh, that's crushed deep in the left field. That is off the top of the wall. Melendez handles, fires, holds him to a single. Wow. That's the longest single in history. I thought that was gone for sure. The ball was tattooed. Popped up. He's a great kid. He's you know human. Yeah. Nice catch from Sherwood. <laughs> Two down. So five games this week. Willie Borquez is 11 for 17 with four doubles, three homers. Hitting 647. Noah Castillo is 10 for 19, 526, three doubles, a homer, and 14 RBIs. Batting ninth, left fielder, number 32. Dio is hitting 500, 8 for 16. Bryson Sherwood's hitting 471, 8 for 17. Just hit a second homer, so now he's up there. Javi Melendez, 7 for 16. Has that served into shallow center? And two on with two outs. <clears throat> Woodley's hitting 400, 6 for 15. Omo, 400, 6 for 15. Owens, 333, 6 for 18 with a homer. Second base, number 22, Antonio. Crespo, Benitez. 1 for 8. And then a smattering of pinch hitters. Sean Maples, 2 for 3. Crazy week. Borges has a chance for player of the week, as does Castillo, depending on this game, really. <clears throat> Called strike one to Benitez. Back to the top of the order. Has Joel got a job lined up right after graduation? Yeah. Uh, well, he has a couple opportunities. He's still trying to discern what what's going on. Got him swinging. Strikeout for Burbach. He growls and groans as he comes off the mound. Still seems a little frustrated. It's all the traffic, but uh, no harm. But they do have four hits.
tonight. Cornette, Owens, and Woodley do up in the bottom of the second for the Pioneers. And batting fifth, third base number 16, Dio Cornette. Breaking ball snaps in for a strike. It's on one. Dio dives towards pitches, so anything inside is always dramatic. The 1-1. One, one. Check swing. Yes, he did. Miss down. That's into left field. Get down. It will. No cap. That was that was that was all cap. It was all cap. Batting six. First base, number 35, Caden Owens. All right, I'm officially calling one here. Football field. <laughs> Off his leg. That got him good, too. Let's have another look. Ooh, off the knee, it looks like. Ouch, man. I haven't gotten a call yet in baseball or softball. About 0 for 10. Oh, and two. So hang a breaking ball, Owens. Deposit it into the track rubble. Breaking ball didn't hang it though. Um, one and two. Around ten. But James had both of all. But one of the applications are up. Yeah, our end lines are up. We don't really know. Owens came into this day hitting three seventy five, seven doubles, five homers, twenty one ribbies in twenty three games. <laughs> Well, especially since we've been to the 
That's crushed into right. Oh, bangs it against the fence. That was really close, Caden. Man. Yeah, if he hadn't had his knee, that would have he would have had that extra foot. This is Bryson Stott's walk-up song from the Phillies. Drew Woodley. Man, he's got a live bat, man. He puts he's got the he's got some juice. Want to know to Drew Woodley? Here's that Owens rope off the fence. Woodley skies one into shallow center. I think they're going to send Dio here with nobody out. They didn't really. They couldn't get behind the ball or get any momentum behind it. Easy send with nobody out. <clears throat> Pioneers take the lead. Betting eight, right field, number 34, Willie Cortez. F7, SF. I was just asked why, when do I, when do I make the call? When do I feel like I'm going to get a call? It's not, it's not tummy related. <laughs> Jeez. It's a, it's an really, Borquez down the left field line. That's another extra base hit for Borquez. As he is vying for conference player of the week, that'll help. Okay, here's how I make a call. If, the, the, if it's not like a, a lockdown ace pitcher, right? who's making everyone look silly. It would be silly to make a call against guys like that. <clears throat> it depends how you take pitches that day, if you're seeing it well, if you're flinching, if you're if you're seeing it well, or if you're not, basically. So you're never going to call something top, top first? It depends if it's like if they've, they've been hot. Oh, okay. You know, there's all sorts of factors that go into calls like that, but. The squeeze play. Up the middle, the no host. Forget the squeeze play. How about a two-run single? Zoom in on the no host here. Yeah, got it. Four to one, big hit. Here it is again. Through the drawn-in infield. Brent Olmo now, one out, John Murphin at first, courtesy runner.
misses up and in 3 and 0. Olmo was already leading the team with 21 walks coming into today. Shortstop, number 10. Extends that Bryson lead. Sherwood. Sherwood's one for one with a solo homer. Did that last inning. Right fielder is playing a few steps from the warning track. Squares to bunt, pulls it back, takes the ball. It's 1-0. <coughs> Hold on, Dennis. Don't go, don't go now, Everybody was a Kirby Puckett fan. What do you mean you weren't a Kirby Puckett fan? I respect him. But you I respect him. Why? Like he's everybody loved Kirby Puckett. That's like saying you didn't like Tony Gwynn. He helped beat the Atlanta Braves. Two and two to Sherwood. World Series. You're a Braves fan? Yeah. <laughs> and you're really about nationally televised games? <laughs> Two balls, two strikes, one out to Sherwood. Full count. DT's talking about the Twins because the Baby Blues reminds him of the 80s Twins uniforms, the Baby Blues with the red numbers. Flared into shallow left. I think Olmo was stealing there, but Murphin wasn't. That was interesting. Chad, do you like the hiked up pants? Or you like, were you, when you played, did you? I like showing sock. But the two coolest looking dudes out there wear the long pants. I like Olmo. He wears a good uniform and Melendez here. We're talking about do you like long or short? I like them both. I just don't like tweeners. Pick one. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Oh, you got to smash that ball. He knows it too. Ooh, good pitch to hit. Leaned on that one. The 1-1. One, one. Inside, off the plate, called a strike. You don't see that one much. You see the outside off the plate a lot. But this is a breaking ball count. And Jimenez almost hit one to the moon last time. Careful with this. That one kind of backed up on him a little bit. Grounded. That's through into left field. Murphy makes the turn. 
The throw to the plate is up the line. RBI single for Melendez. Five to one. <coughs> Noah Castillo having a huge week as well. Noah Castillo. The assistant coach coming out with the high socks, styling. He's dripped out. I think he looks cool. What? I mean. No one, you know, no one in the history of baseball has ever criticized a pitching coach's calves before. <laughs> DT just, <laughs> DT just, did, at any level. DT just, those weren't satisfactory for him. He just was, he wasn't going to keep quiet about it. Yeah. Like I think you need to do a little more toe toe lifts there. Or you just get really heavy and walk around for 40 years. Look at these bad boys. Oh. Look at that. Look at that, Trey. Check it out. That is, wow. That is a very muscular calf. You want to see some calves. You want to see some calves. You're getting some kind of look in Detroiter's life right now. Noah Castillo launches to the track, to the fence. Three run bomb Castillo. And it is eight to one. Pioneers pouring it on early once again. What's mercy? There's no. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's why I was 21 nothing. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, only from God. Well. Well, that's, oh, that's just a heater centered cut. Castillo doesn't miss those. Right after the visit from the pitching coach, too. It's like, whoops. <laughs> yeah. Third base, number 16, Dio Cornett. Rip down the line, foul ball. That's why I wore the high socks as a player to show off the right. the calves. It was my only. That's how you got your, you guys, your it was my only you asset, you really. I didn't right. look great in a big in a baseball you uniform, but I got the. You you get the on your socks, Jack? No, I never did striped socks. That was a little too obnoxious for my taste. Yeah. Coach Rugelman didn't let us wear the soccer style socks either. We had to have stirrups. So the low stirrups didn't really, I didn't like that look very much. I like the solid soccer socks. Coach Riggleman did not like that. Right. Dio launches into left, and that's down. Past the left fielder for a double. The coaches, the coaches make these decisions. This is, yes. Like, just send in by some game four, score. By game four, we get it. Like, we know who the better team is. I think, I don't mind it. Ten, I think it needs to, you got to have something. Give me 15 or something. At one point, we did have a mercy rule, right? Yeah. Yes. But. We already play shortened games because they're seven innings, so they said no more of no more further shortening of games with mercy rules. We're worried about the pace of the play. 
and arms. I mean, this not everybody has 12 deep pitching staff. One and two on Owens. Singled off the singled off the top of the fence. Inside heater misses. Two balls, two strikes. Just, just straight poison. Two and two. Hammered into deep center field. Center fielder back to the fence, looks up into the tree, and it is gone. Ten to nothing, Pioneers. It's Caden Owens. Just an A-B late, I guess. Don't see many into that part of the park either, into the trees in center. My goodness. This is an absolute tank, folks. I don't even know if that dropped out of the tree. It might be stuck in there. That'd be sweet. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Drew Woodley now to face Wingender. Take strike one. Now batting for the Pioneers. Second base, number one, Drew Woodley. Wingender is 0-1 in 12 appearances with a 5-7-9 ERA. 14 innings, 11 hits, 12 strikeouts, opponents hitting 216. He's got good numbers. 
relatively high ERA, but <clears throat> the O2 grounded, backhanded deep in the hole, base hit, infield hit for Woodley. Cutting right through you. Right field number 34, Willie Borges. All right. Borges and Castillo are battling for Conference Player of the Week. Borges launches to right. Track. Wall gone. Borges, twelve to one, or thirteen or something. I don't know. Twelve. Twelve. Here it is again from camera two. Is number three playing? He was a bad dude. He was awesome. Yeah, even one day we talked to Coach Tim between games, he's like number three was amazing. Yeah. yeah. Number three for Central Baptist, uh, Central Baptist we're talking about, basketball. Coming up in under two hours. We need to get this thing wrapped up here. You know, host fouls it away. And it's one and two. You know, host grounds to short. That'll end the inning. You're him. Sala, 2 3 4 due up for the Bobcats. Yeah. Is this the. Is, that was that the third double digit inning we've had this series? Just the second, right? Just the second. We had one last week against Grandview. Oh, Grandview, what it was. He's 
Jester was five nothing. Five nothing yesterday. Is that the third time this week, though? Is that hangs up? Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought Olmo was going to come get that one. Nice solid line drive for Paulo. Catcher number 14, Gustavo Rivera. Turning 39. <laughs> Gustavo Rivera. Because you think 39 is really old. No, I said he's turning 39. Did I say he's old? I know it's. <laughs> 39 sounds great. Popped foul. Class of ninety six? No, because he took a year or two ago. Oh, did he? Okay, so he's probably a year older. And it bounces away. As Burbach spiked that off speed pitch. I'm a catcher of being nice to the catchers. If it hits the dirt, it's it's wild pitch every time. But is it? Yeah. You can't predict what kind of ruts and holes are back there. Good take. Two and two. That's what we, we talked about this yesterday. Like, with the wind blowing out and an offense like ours, what can you do? Sherwood. One away. You've got to keep you got to limit the freebies is all you can control, really. First base, number 17, and keep the, Wesley keep the homers Bradford. at solo shots. But all the walks and the misplays, that's just going to lead to double-digit innings. Into left field. Jimenez, hit your cut. Look at that. He knows what to do. Swing and a miss, 0 and 1. You got camera one, though, you're good. The 1-1, one, one. skied into shallow left. Shallow left, really shallow left. <laughs> that you wouldn't even you wouldn't even call that deep short. Two down. Designated hitter number 28, Angel Andradas. Like 310? Yeah, that first game took 
two hours and 40 minutes. In the dirt, nice block from Minojos. Don't throw it. We weren't even holding the runner on first, so it's like we don't care if he moves up. So it's a wild pitch, and then the guy scores from third on E2. Unearned at the moment. That's crushed into deep center field. I don't know if Olmo's going to be able to get there. Now it's earned. RBI double for Andrades, and it's 12 to 3. One RBI. He only drove in one. But the previous run is now earned. Because <clears throat> he would have scored on that double. That's how that works. Up and into Denson. It's four and one. Denson, Blake Denson hitting 233 coming into today, a double, a triple, and a homer. Full count. Oh. No, I don't think you went. Yeah, I was hoping they would give us a bad call there. Did he go? I don't, know how I don't think so. Feel about that. Say boy. I'll say it. I'll say it. I'll say it here. That'll be better. We're still trying to win. Still trying to win. Still trying to win a ball game. Christian Hurtado, the birthday boy, enters the fray. Forty-two years old today. No, what is he? You said twenty-seven. 27 or 26, we're not sure, but...
Hurtado took a break between high school and college before he got started, plus the COVID year. All of a sudden, you're out there pushing 30 as a senior. Help us out, chat. How old's Christian today? <laughs> okay, 27. Stillman's in the chat. I haven't checked back in a while. Sorry. Stillman speaking into the void. Sorry. This guy is the man. Who is the man? Tell the Shelby Anderson story. Oh, about calling, calling homers. That was like, how did I know? That one wasn't a ridiculous call. The, the, what made that call special was that I said it would be not just a homer, but an absolute memorable moonshot bomb type homer. And that's, that's what it was. I don't want to tell that story yet. I liked the steroid guys who looked uncomfortable in the uniform, or like in the 90s. Troyer is a calf size queen, yes. Hadn't checked the stat for a while. Sorry. Thanks for checking in. Legendary MNU broadcaster Brett Stillman got me started in this, actually. I don't think I, I don't know if I ever would have gotten around to it if you hadn't ever started and I joined you for a bit. Some people are like, Ugh, why did you have to get them going? 12 to 3. The hitter is Lynch. Batting 8th. Hurtado pours in a strike. Hurtado has a rough start to the season, but every outing, the ERA keeps dropping. It's down to 18, if that tells you anything, how bad the, how bad the beginning was. He's been an excellent reliever in 22 and 23. He was a starter in 22. He's 1-3 in three and 9 appearances, 6 innings. Boy, it feels like it's been a lot more than that. 13 hits, 8 strikeouts, opponents hitting 448. But if you can believe it, those numbers were worse. Slash down the right field line. Get foul. It will. Bangs off the fence. Man, the ball is flying to right right now. If you can see that flag in this shot. There it is. Called strike three. Down goes Lynch. Felt like nobody knew what was gonna, what was going on there. For the Bobcats in the top of the third, two runs, three hits, one pioneer. Usually on strike three to end the inning, the whole infield is on the move even before the umpire makes the call. Look how they did here. Strike three. Oh yeah, inning's over. ERA continues to drop for Hitato. Another out recorded. 18. This is still wind gender. Now it's the it goes to the most effective reliever if we don't lose the lead. That's a well, you go. Did he throw two shutout innings with one hit? Did he throw three innings with a couple runs? You know. Yeah, that's also true. No, it's it's all about the numbers. If, not necessarily. Yeah, if you get if you allow three line rockets out and they were all over you, you still could be effective. You know. So yeah, we're talking about Hurtado or who the pitcher of record is going to be this game because uh, Burbach didn't go the required four innings in a seven-inning game. Off the of the third for the if we don't lose the lead, nine, 
the victory goes to the most effective reliever, which is a subjective choice up to the official scorer. Now, if a coach tells you before the game that we are staffing it today, like Burbach's going to go two, then Hurtado a couple, and then Barry a couple, whatever, then you can give it to the starter even though they don't go four. But I got no such word, so we have to go. Assuming... Yeah, you have to assume that they were pitching straight up today and trying to get Burbach through four at least Olmo the 2-2 two -two. he doesn't strike out very much it's only his 11th on the season Swinging, swinging very hard. <laughs> Shortstop number ten, Bryson Sherwood. Sherwood now takes the ball. He's one for two with a homer. A big homer at the time, tied the game in the first inning. Big ish. One on one. Bryson had been wearing tweener socks and pants. Slashed foul. But then he heard our conversation in the press box saying that I didn't like that look. He's like, what's wrong with my uniform? Why don't I look cool? The one, two. Ripped into right, base hit. And I said, I just don't like the tweener look, but I'm old. It doesn't matter what I think. The tweener's look are in style. And since then, he's worn the high socks with this uniform. And he looks cooler, according to me. <laughs> but what is that worth? Like Bryson's. Yeah. I like the taller stirrup. Shows more of the sanitary sock. <laughs> sure would almost caught leaning there. Yeah. There's all sorts of different styles that people like. Some like the candy stripes. I think they're a little too loud. But that's why we're all special. We all have <laughs> we all have different tastes and opinions. It's what makes the world go round. The two O. I like the long pants as long as they're long enough to do it D T you like you like the Melendez look. Yeah, which which his which his are. It looks good. Yeah, I don't like them if they're an inch shorter and you sure. see these socks. It looks incomplete. Yeah. Three one. This ball is clear in the trees. Ah, that's a push. See, you like Melendez's pants, but not Dio's. Is that fair? Because uh, yes, his are correct. a tiny bit too short, according to DT. Hitter, number 25, Noah Castillo. Yeah, I, I, they need to be long enough to... Remember when the style was you wore them so long that they went under your back cleat? Yes, that's and, the way my son wore them. 
I thought that was a little much as well. Yeah, it ruined your pants, and it's all right. The O one, O and two on Castillo. That was the style. What, fifteen years ago or so? Baggy pants, baggier pants with the cl under the cleat. Softly served into center. That'll hang up. Two down. Third base, number 16, Dio Cornett. Cornett, the five hole with two outs and two on. Mm. Into right. Yvonne Medina came into today hitting 182. Two doubles, a triple, and a homer. Watch your face. Hurtado greeted with a rocket back up the middle from Medina. Second base, number 22. Antonio Benitez. What was up with the music yesterday when it keeps cutting in and out and whatnot? Which one's Jenny?
That went shooting into the dugout. Everybody's fine, it seems. They're playing it inside, playing it in the gym. so it's connected. So it's connected. It makes sense. That was during shoot around, right? The two-two, smashed into left. Melendez is there. Not as smashed as I thought. So at 5.30, we're going to have to bail on this game as we are hosting two, NAIA third, second ball. round national tournament that we're not playing in. Oh, that's so painful. <laughs> Can't get them over it. That's hurt. That's a painful game. I've wanted to host games like that forever. And we did a great job hosting yesterday, but we lost. Uh oh. We are hosting my alma mater, though. That's a little. There's a little solace in there. Bethel. Sort of rooting for Bethel. I'm really rooting for Bethel. Yeah, we also don't like CBC very much. TBH. No cap. To be honest, low key. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> we low key don't like CBC. We like CBC? We low key don't like them. Because they beat us last night. We're bitter and sore. Ripped to first. That was caught in the air, I think. Sure, it was. Double play. So you go L3. I think you tried DP. This never works for me. Space DP. And then X. Yeah. Let's see if that works. Hey, look at that.
Caden Owens. Man, as many times as these guys have hit, you're going to learn the whole words to Don't Fear the Reaper. Or use the music computer there. You can make them up, though. Ball one. He's got, he's got to fight it for the next four innings. <laughs> we have dueling iPads from the different venues today. Oh, Owens launched. Tracking. Fence. Oh. <laughs> All right, we'll keep an eye on Kirsten as she goes down to the bleachers. Second base number one, Drew Woodley. He just hit it too high. Drew Woodley now takes ball one. The pitcher is Pitt. Brenton Pitt with a 9 ERA in 8 innings. 8 hits, 4 strikeouts, opponents hitting 258. We saw him yesterday, didn't we? Yes. Sidewinding lefty. Grounded to short, backhanded. Nope. I don't think he was going to get Drew anyway unless he came up perfectly clean. Base hit. Right field number 34, Willie Borquez. All right, let's go for National Player of the Week, Borquez. Another extra base hit and RBI ought to do it. Or do you just turn it down until you're actually using it? No, you did, and it came back on. Oh, it shoots back up? Yeah. <laughs> My goodness. AI. 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 He's coming out to check some AI. Check out some baseball. Just watching some high-quality baseball out here. So we're going to score 35 runs this today. Have we already gotten there? What are we? Oh my gosh. I, I was kidding. Three and out. I think you should get the gate back up and charge him. Hey, coach, five I think he just needed a bathroom. So he goes, he goes, he goes to, the jo to the Johnny on the spot. <laughs> yeah. He's like, they need to mingle with the common people. Ball four. Borquez takes a walk. <laughs> wants to get back to his roots. He does not. There's only a couple people there in the athletics department that were there when we left. Catcher number 24, Josh Hinojos. Hinojos back to the plate. He is one for two with a couple ribbies. Woodley taking off. couple of steals today for Woodley, his first two of the season. Yeah. 
that's it? Is it one and one? Yes. That's what I've got. And he stole a base and then... I said that one was a ball. Oh. Correct. There goes Borquez, swing and a miss. He's calling interference, which I don't know if I agree with. I don't think he made any contact. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're not going to fight it too hard, but <clears throat> you're going to have to. There's a weird, a weird. No, it doesn't. So let's have a look. There's a weird code for this. I'll tell you in a second. If you impede the catcher in any way is the rule. <clears throat> did he impede the catcher there? Did he really, though? Yeah, but look, did he even touch him? I know. No one was covering second, like... Why did you throw it in the first place? New pitcher. All right, let me, I'll tell you the code in a second. Here we go. It's been a minute since we've seen Brecklin. Yes. Uh, SID scoring assistance. It's one of the pinned posts. Now pitching for the Pioneers, right Dang, hander, come on. number eight, Bryce Brecklett. Featured, featured, here we go. If a batter strikes out and it's called for interference as the catcher is trying to throw out a runner, score as follows. KS space 2U space DP. For the runner, X space INT. Nailed it. That one gets asked every day in this group. And it's like, you're going to have to start paying five bucks to Frank if you keep asking that question. So it's been pinned up here. All right, Bryson Sherwood is closing in on the all-time hits record. I need to find out exactly where we are here. Leading off the top Can't of the just gloss the over that. Catcher number 14, Gustavo Rivera. Let's take these base runners off. We're at in a new inning. 12-3. to three. Bryce Brecklin in the game for the Pioneers. Swing and a miss from Rivera. Brecklin on the season. An 8-5-6 ERA. He's 2-1. And, and this is eight appear eighth appearance. 13 and two-thirds innings. 19 hits. 9 strikeouts. Opponents hitting 317 against him. 0-2 oh, now. All right, Joshua Sandoval holds the hits record with 236. Bryson had 198 entering this season. So 236, his 38th hit of the season would tie the all-time record. So where are we? 33 coming into today. To this game. How'd he do in game one? I think he had a couple there, too. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. I could just read Chad's text, but I have to pretend like I'm doing this myself. Um, schedules. 
That's to second. Switch, switch, switch. One away. First base, number 17, Wesley Bradford. Four hits today for Brayson, which puts him at 37. So one more ties it? Is that what we said? Sounds like it. <laughs> Bradford, the four hole, faces a 1 1 count. Got him swinging. Oh, she is moving. <laughs> She's getting your sprints in. Yeah, no way she's got a sprint in. Right field number 27, Randy Jimenez. She's faster than she looks. Doesn't have like long sprinter legs or anything, but she dominates those defenders on the soccer pitch. Oh, and two on Jimenez. There you go. The Bobcats on the top of the fifth. No runs.
top of the order do it for the Pioneers. Olmo, Sherwood, and Melendez to face Garrett Pavlitich. He has a 1-2 and two record. This is his eighth appearance, all out of the pen. 8-3-8 ERA. He's got three saves. Nine and two-thirds innings. 16 hits. Three strikeouts. Opponents hitting 348 against him. Almost 0 for 2 this game. Grounded. Nice stab by the first baseman. Pitcher beats Olmo to the bag. One away. Is that the same first baseman we've had? 17? Yep, yeah, we're good. Shortstop, number 10, Bryson Sherwood. Bryson Sherwood sitting on 235 career hits. The record is 236. I think you I think he holds the record for pop outs to that area as well. He'll have another AB oh, Willie, he probably won't have another A B this game unless we get another five six run inning, which is not out of the realm of possibility. Alright, here's another official call. Javi's going treetops on this at bat. Two and one. Or do you give him an inning just to keep him fresh? Barry looks like Barry's going this next one. Barry, Barry and Alex Myers. You, you don't want to miss a whole week. They did pitch Sunday, though. That misses outside. Three and one. Here, here it comes. See if this breaking ball hangs and he can pull one. Sam Cloud running at first. Noah Castillo. Ding, ding. It's one for three with three RBIs this game. That was a homer, right? I, they're all running together. Two and two.
What? Wow. It's been a long day. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a long week. Yeah. The 2 2. Oof. That's going to be out of play. Out of play. <laughs> You're here next year, right? <laughs> That's drilled into left center field. They are on the move. Center fielder tracks it down. <laughs> yes! Pioneers in the bottom of the fifth. No runs, no hits, no errors, one runner left. And after five complete innings, Pioneers lead 12 to 3. It's going to the left. Don't Javi does. Yeah, there's no way Javi does. Assuming he's decent. Unless they would have been strong. Number 20 is in the pitch. John Berry. The lefty will come in and pitch the top of the sixth. Sam Cloud stays in the game in left field. Now pitching for the Pioneers, left-hander number 20, John Perry. Say yeah, it's we we did. Yes. Go ahead. Go for it. I said yes, actually. John okay. Barry is one and zero. This is his sixth like appearance. He has a fifth, uh, fourteen fifty four ERA, four and a third innings, five hits, seven strikeouts. Opponents hitting two seventy eight. Designated hitter number twenty eight, Angel Andradas. Had a really brutal start to the season, but we think. We think we've got his role kind of solidified now and what pitches we want to use with him and hopefully back on track because he can be a massive weapon out of the pen when he's right. Andrades at the plate. Slashes one into right. It's going to twist away from Borges with that wind. He makes the catch in foul territory. One away. Third base, number 15, Blake Denson. It's really remarkable, the difference in yesterday's games and today's games. We were gone at 4.09, like an hour before yesterday it was done. Very few pitching changes, very few subs. Yeah, I mean, obviously it was quick innings for Peru, but even MNU, it wasn't a barrage like this. Little check swing grounder to Dio. Flips it over there on the run. Two down. Keep racking up those outs, John Barry. He's at five innings now on the Set season. Number 36, Jackson Lynch. That ERA keeps taking hits every time he records an out. Are these sleeves... That's not an undershirt. That's sewn into the shirt, isn't it? It's not like a vest jersey for the Peru. Okay. Swing and a miss from 
Lynch, it's 0-1. Yeah, Barry's got really good stuff. Good firm fastball, nasty slide piece. Funky arm angle. If he's in the zone, he's brutal. Reese Helland warming along with Alex Myers. Ryan Wilwer's also moving. Yep. Whew. The angle from where he comes is Chris Sale, Randy Johnson esque, where you slinging it sidearm like that, or slinging it left handed from the first base side. He's more over the top than both of those guys, I think, but. I don't know, maybe it's silly to go Randy Johnson, Chris Sale for any comp. Got him swinging. Clean inning for Barry. For the Bobcats in the top of the sixth, no runs, no hits, no errors. And after five and a half innings, Pioneers lead 12 to 3. Leading off the bottom of the sixth for the Pioneers, third base, number 16, D.O. Cornette. D.O.'s two for three with a couple of runs scored today. Game four. Into center field. Ooh, they're looking at each other. Is he safe? What? Why didn't the base umpire make that call? What was that? I don't think he caught that. First base number 35, Caden Owens. Oh, he did. I think he snagged it barehanded before it hit the grass. But the base umpire was looking in at the home plate umpire. Caden Owens, two for three. Two runs scored, a couple RBIs. And an absolute 
bomb into the center field trees. Called strike two. Got him swinging. Tied him up inside. Two down. Sean Maple making an appearance. <clears throat> Hitting for Woodley. Josh Martinez on deck, so the Willie Borquez player of the week situation. The numbers he's put up so far is going to be it. He's got a really good chance. And unless somebody else went nuts, which occasionally happens. You get people with six, seven homers in a week, and it's over. Three and oh. Are we going to see Sean play second base at the bottom and the top of the seventh? Mm, ball four. Josh Martinez now hitting for Borquez. Called strike one on Martinez. He struck out earlier, right? In his pinch hit appearance. So he's three for nine on the season. Same pitch, same result. Foul territory. Third baseman makes the catch. Let's go to the seventh. Let's wrap this up. For the Pioneers in the bottom of the sixth, no runs, no hits, no errors, one runner left. And after six complete innings, Woodley back in. The Pioneers lead 12 to 3.
Hurtado popped up. Let's go one pitch, one out. Get there. Dio, no problem. Make it adventurous. And don't put in the end time yet. That'll kill the uh, second base number twenty-two live stats. Antonio Benitez. Pitching decisions. Hurtado will be two and three. Okendo one and one and two. <laughs> A demon just screeched into the press box. The O one to Benitez misses. It's one and one. So once you put in that end time and hit save, that'll be it. it, just stops it. Yeah, that'll be... That's the indication that it's over. Everything else will be fine. One and two. Yes, he did. Oh, he didn't, but we were hoping. It's close, though. The 2 2 smoked foul. Full count. This is Benitez, the leadoff batter. He's one for three. I'm really surprised he didn't call that pitch. Where was this? On the inside corner. Where was this pitch? Start stop, number two, Xavier Sala. <laughs> that was a filthy front door cutter. Late movement. Swing and a miss for Sala, the two hole. I think he's got a couple hits this game. Just one. One for three. Wild pitch, runner moves to second. This is Reese Helland on the mound, by the way. He's one and two. This is his eleventh appearance. He has a one save. Three two seven ERA in eleven innings. Nineteen hits, eleven strikeouts, opponents hitting three seventy three. Swing and a miss. Full count. Reese having trouble spotting that cutter.
Got him swinging. Strike two. Strike three. Out two. One of those things. Catcher number 14, Gustavo Rivera. Slashed foul, 0 and 1. Swing and a miss. Wild pitch. Runner moves up. And it's one and two. We will be off the air as soon as this game ends. we got to get over to basketball quick. So apologies for the abruptness. <laughs> the one-two on Rivera. Two two. Come on, you got it in the bag. Got it in the bag. It's right there. It's right there for it. Right there. It's right there for you. The two two. Got a baby. Called called ball three. The count runs full there. Full count, two outs. Slashed into right. This might do it. This might do it. Borquez all the way back. That's over the fence and foul. Good Lord. <laughs> that, went, that went very far. Careful there. That one went far. This guy's got some power for you here. Yeah. Ah, ball four there. The game continues. He's supposed to work tonight, too. First base, number 17, Wesley Bradford. Better is Bradford, the four hole. Grounded to second. Woodley. See ya. See, see ya. 